Alright, what's going on everyone? I am Phoenix Wright, the Ace Attorney. Welcome back to Justice for All, if everyone wants to hear about. So, old bag says, Anyway, after the ceremony, I went to pace around in the hallway in front of his room. Let's press that. Miss old bag, what was your, po what was your post on that night? The lobby! I was supposed to help set up the stage for that trifling show! But I refused to help, I'll have you know! It was for that lead-headed samurai show! Uh, god. Oh, okay, does her helmet just, like, appear and disappear? Like, um, okay. Well, it, uh, why is she dressed up like Spaceman Spiff? Well, I, I, I'm just, I, it's just, it's very odd. <laughs> um, Anyway, so his name is the Nickel Samurai. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, say, hey, I even took out a few of the nails. Uh, maybe it was a good thing the show didn't go on because there probably would have been another death at the hands of old Pad. Besides, that manager with the glasses even be work working hard yet without me. That would be Adrian, I assume. So I thought I'd take a break and throw my wings a little. And that's when you went to hang around the victim's door. There was something that I was interested in by that, you know. Something you were interested in, and just what was that? Gossip, probably. It's not some little thing I can just go around and tell everyone, you know. It's top secret between me and one. Ah, I had you, of course. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, what's this thing she was interested in? I have no idea. I despise gossip. Yo, I know. <laughs> Uh, gossip. So they're probably giving me clues here. So, um, so he obviously knows about it. Well, obviously, I fucking showed him. I'm like, if this has something to do with the case, then you can append it to your testimony. It looks like we shouldn't force it right now. Hmm, this is the way to stay in the vicinity of the store the entire time. Eh. Um,. Okay, hold on a second. So, is this a new statement or not? So, she says, Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. I'm gonna take a state. Blah. And reload the old one. Is this a, is this a new state? Um, so, yeah, there's something I was interested in finding out. Let us see. Okay, I made sure you... So, no. That... It's not a new statement, so we can basically just keep going from here, I guess. Let's press that. Oh, well, that was you tell us the number of people who went in and out of Mr. Creator's room? Uh, nobody, I assume? I, I accept on guard, I suppose. I have no idea! I wasn't born so I could count things for those who didn't pay attention in class! That's why ever since I turned 20, I quit keep, blah, 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 blah. I quit keeping track of how old I really am. Eh? I mean, she's got a question mark in her in the court record. Uh, yeah, so that would explain why your age was not recorded in the, 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 the report. Yes, it would indeed. And he's speaking too slow for me. In any case, we win this. I saw someone, correct? That's when someone showed up. Uh, God. I can't. I'm, gonna, I'm having another. I can't. Uh, so, uh, it was a man coming out of poor Juan's room. Who in the world was that? She's gonna say it's on guard. I'm not allowed to say! That sort of information should be carefully guarded from the masses, sonny! Uh -huh. The man that came out of Juan's room! It was... He... Oh, dear lord. How slow can you go? He was... Yes, he was. Hey, I'm too scared. I can't say his name out loud. Please tell me who's gonna force her to say it. Oh well, we not be able to have Francesca's whip right about now. I hate to say it, but I agree. Huh. Well, I guess I can tell you since he was such a bad boy anyway. It was on guard, wasn't it? Uh, man, I'm gone. You're trying to see his way out of Wallen's room. You saw my client. Are you sure about that? Yeah, see? Really? I know I'm Brett, but I said I saw someone I saw that person. How, how, like, how do you even know her eyesight is even decent? 
Right away here, it's not a deja vu, probably because you claimed the same thing with Will Powers, but it was someone completely different last time. Maybe you avoid a mess like last year, I should delve into this a bit further. Oh. Um, so, the person's face, what the, what the person was carrying, or the person's clothes. Um, so, I'm gonna take a state. Hmm. Person's face. I think the face is probably going to be the more important thing. Uh, when probably closed than what they were carrying. Please tell the court about the man's face in more detail. Uh, you want me to tell you about his face? That soft, tender look in his eyes and his effeminate lips. It's why I come up by his silky hair, his sparkling, shining teeth. Yeah, that's what his teeth were shining. Where is he shining all around this week's pinup poster, dearie? I can't. I'm done. I'm fucking done. <sighs> uh, she reads pinups. Um, um, or not read is probably not the right word. But I, I, uh, oh, I'm dropping things. Why, is, why does she have pinups of on guard? I thought she hated the fucker. I'm, 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 uh, I'm dropping my mic. That's how my word could be damaged. Yeah. I don't think it was. I dropped it. I meant to drop it on my chair, but I dropped it on my headset. Anyway, now that my little fake reaction rant, you know, people like these. It probably would have been better if I had a webcam, but fuck. I don't even fucking know. Anyway, so. Why? Just why? I'm just gonna continue. I can't even sit down. I have to I have to stand up for this. Uh, uh so Phoenix says this week's pinup. Why do you I mean I don't care how he looks in this week's issue. Please stay please stay with what you saw that night. Uh what? On guard's face is the same no matter where it is, right, you whippersnapper? Uh so Mr. Wright, was this testimony just now important or relevant anyway? Uh no, it was not Probably not, but all right. I think I'm gonna sit down now and take a state. Uh, I'll say it was very important. You gotta bluff these things. Uh, of course, it was important, Your Honor. As Ruth is going to object, now perhaps you would like to point out what part of that testimony was important. Uh, you don't really have to put it that way to get me to say. What's right? There's something much more valuable than a person's pride, and that is time. Please don't waste this court's precious time with worthless questions! Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I think I just wasted this good favor. Uh, she may, um, she may not remember things or be mistaken here and there. I don't think she's lying. That's bad for us. Uh, really bad. But, that's how the human mind is. It also has a tendency to jump off topic. Yes. We noticed. She strayed on onto a few interesting side topics this time too, hasn't she? And that's what makes her a sweet old lady, right? Uh, that's because you're not one who asked to question her. Okay, so it looks like we're going back to the uh the uh oh, I think really the statement. Okay, so um Huh. I'm gonna take a look at the court record. There's something I was interested in finding out about. I'm gonna take a stay. I feel like this might be what I was supposed to present against. Maybe it was the magazine clipping? No. The music didn't stop. Your Honor, what do you think about the statement? Uh, it's fucking dumb. That's what he thinks about it. Um. Aww. 
At least I didn't get a penalty for saying that that, that, that thing was important. Um, maybe that was camera. I'm just gonna present basically everything she would have known about the whole affair in Elio, which is probably basically that. I don't know, maybe I'll be for another state. Or uh, another uh, a statement, rather. Um, uh, oh, I just reloaded basically the same spot. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna try going through these options. See if any, any of them give me anything important. Alright, the person's clothes. Uh, please tell the part about the man's clothes in more detail. What a troublesome young man you are, really! Is it something like that matters? Uh, but it does. Oh, man, what was it? Oh, yes, it was that thing! What thing? That gaudy thing he's always wearing, that racing jacket! So, yeah, the same thing. Uh, he's wearing that, his head on it, too. Uh, that thing's meant for nothing but to do some women out of their pantaloons! <laughs> man! Um, right. They seem to do work, their work wonders on you. Um, so much right! What's the testimony just now? Important or relevant anyway? So, I guess that's going to be a no. If I say it was very important, then it's probably going to be the same. I mean, of course it was important. And then perhaps you would like to point out what part of that testimony is important. Okay, so this is basically the same deal Leo as before. Uh, so let's ask about what the person was carrying. Those men you- uh, what- What- oh. Okay. I think we need a co- I don't know, that's- this s sentence is just weirdly written to me. I was- this is a, I don't know. Anyway, what was the man you saw It sounds like it should be like, what was the man you saw carrying? Like, what was the man? Car- or- Uh, I don't know. Fuck, I'm just gonna- in which hand? His brother is left! So this might be the actual statement. Uh, the one, always the last one. Um... Ah, oh, now this is a real mess! I mean, I can't be expected to answer such a vague question! Can you just testify to both? Indeed! Please be more specific with your question, Mr. Wright! Uh, sorry. Uh, what was the man you saw carrying in his right hand? Um, ah, uh, he wasn't carrying anything in that hand! And how about his left? Empty! Are you fucking serious? Uh, well, this whole thing has been a lot of nothing. So, Mr. Wright, this is simply just now important or relevant anyway. Uh, so... What do I get if I say it was not important? I guess it really wasn't that important after all. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so, you would even... Even I'm getting bored with our waste of time. That's right, and you, you know why we say time is valuable. If not, I suggest you learn. You wasted three minutes of this woman's youth. That's more valuable than gold to me. Uh, youth might be a little bit of a, uh, yeah, inaccurate statement. My talent seems to have reverted to that of a toddler. She may not remember things. Or, okay, so this is the, the same dealio. Uh, so it seems like no matter what, we basically, uh, that's not going to be it. We we've got to present something against one of those statements. Um, say, okay. I went, I went to paint around in the hallway in front of his room. Anything that could possibly contradict that. I'm going to try to do this without looking at the walkthrough. Um... No, I doubt this is going to be it. Excuse me. Uh, so there's something I was interested in finding out. I already presented basically the two things that would be relevant to that. Um, I mean, I know she knew the details of the suicide. Um, I heard it since I was on the job. Make sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. Except, idea, just throwing them out right now. You know, she obviously let the, let that uh, you know that the killer guy get past security. What if they present the radio? Even no, 
This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement. Yeah, fuck you. Uh. Oh. And then. I doubt it. Uh, this one suddenly showed up. There was a man coming out of poor Juan's room. I doubt it's gonna be. Let's see. Are there gonna be. I doubt there's gonna be any profiles I need to present. Um, oh, I doubt this is gonna be it either. I actually ended up having to close my walkthrough tab. I got some sort of, like, your computer has been infected message on a tab, and it made it so that I couldn't close Chrome. I had to end it with the task manager. I couldn't go to any tab, other tabs, and I basically, what I just did was I... You know, started a new session and then it had no power over me. So I don't know if there's something underlying there, but we'll see. So it was on guard, and on a guard, he was trying to sneak his way out of Juan's room. Oh. Uh, I have no fucking clue. I'm just gonna have to walk through, sorry. I'll be back. Okay! I had to look up a walkthrough. It turns out I'm dumb. So, um, what we're supposed to do here is we're- this is the- the person's clothes in the statement. Uh, and we're going to say it was very important to that. I guess it starts off as the same text as the others, but I guess diverges later, uh, after I had already reloaded that state. Well, of course it was important, Your Honor, as you're just going to object, and perhaps you'd like to point out what part of that testimony was important. Uh, don't you see it, Edgeworth? So yeah, this is this is a different thing. Dot dot dot. Your Honor, I request that the witness said about the jacket be appended to your testimony. Hmm. I don't quite see where you're going with this, but all right. Witness, please. Uh, uh well, I like to badmouth anyone without reason, but if I must, uh, I was wearing this flashy red racing jacket. Honestly, it's all just for show. Okay. So, might as well take a state here, and maybe look through the court record. Oh my god, attorney badge, got my eyes like me that, um, could maybe be the picture, but I doubt it, maybe he was like, supposed to be in costume because he was, you know, about to go up on stage. That might be it. Oh, let's see what I have. Press common second. Uh, regular transceiver, lost camera. I doubt any of this is going to be it. It's probably the, the, that picture of the guitar case. Wine glass. Prime photo, suicide report. Yep, suicide report one. The knife. Okay, the button. Search from his costume and Wait a second. Oh! I see where this is going. Okay, so he was wearing his. She says he was wearing his racing jacket, but the button was found in his comma, which he wasn't actually wearing at the time. Uh, of the. You know, she said he was coming out. So let's present that. Uh, oh, yeah, we're right. Oh, I forgot to take a state, but oh well. Um. This old bag. What? Don't say my name for no reason! You know what this is. Ah! It's button number two! What did you- oh. The Jammin' Ninja's costume. Button number two. And wow, my throat just like locked up for a second there. Now I know she's an obsessed fan. She identified it in a single glance. Uh, give it here! Give it here! If you don't give it to me, I'll punish you with this! Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Uh, she really is a diehard fan of a button covered in blood. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Excuse me. Maybe she'll clean it off first, at least. Uh, this button was discovered in Mr. Ongar's body during a full body search. Um, see? See? This button proves beyond the shadow of a doubt it was that rascal on guard. It was caught up in the pleats of his nickel samurai Hakama pants. See? See? Now Gar is an Eagle Samurai, but he wasn't wearing his costume at the time. 
Witness? No, it may just be me, and I do have an active imagination, but just now didn't you say that the defendant, my uh, guard, was wearing his usual racing jacket? And everything goes quiet. Uh, I I'm so sorry! Sorry you judge people based on what they wear! Uh, if I wore the trendy skirt- Oh, dear lord. Why? I'm actually kind of able to read all this if I don't focus on if I don't focus on talking during the whole thing, you know. And you know, I, I I got most of that, but I wouldn't have been able to read it. Um. So yeah. Uh. You know, I read it to myself, but I wouldn't have been able to do it out loud. Um. Now hold your now hold your tongue still there for one second. So what you saw in extra, I can't, I can't voice in actuality was not Mr. On Guard, the man. Mr. Ungod, the Nickel Samurai! Huh? Okay, but when you think about it, the crowd is going to murmur. They're really one and the same anyway! Uh, no. Um, the Nickel Samurai is a character. Uh, Miss Old Bag, this is a very important point we're talking about. Hey, Poo, do you think so too? Hey, it might be something I'm worth thinking about. Uh, what? Just say it's important and the great is made for a change. Uh, wait, yes, think carefully and try to remember as much as you can before you testify. Uh-huh. Alright, if you insist. Uh, I should be the one sighing, not you. Okay, this testimony of who I saw. We saw that a little while ago. Um. I'm guard, I'm guard, yes, and now I remember the Nickel Samurai, that's right, it was the Nickel Samurai that I saw. Yes, it would have been convenient for him to wear his costume during the murder. We had to go to that post-ceremony stage show right after the crime, you know. We must have worn that Nickel Samurai costume when he was stabbing poor Bone. Uh, okay. Uh, what I'm thinking again, it might be the blood covered, you know, button. He would know that it would, um, that, uh, that it would, uh, you know, get blood in this costume. Um, I think I'll press things first, though. I knew it. I knew you'd say he was inside that costume. What? Say, do you think it could have been someone else inside that costume? So, uh, I might, um, I'm not exactly sure where Phoenix is going with this. Don't be a bear, little boy, thinking such rude things. But, but the possibility does exist. Uh, young today, I told you there's no way it was anyone else. What? Yeah, you told us that. The Seal Samurai, too. Uh, yeah. I apologize again for all you yawning. Uh, how do you know that? Oh, uh, because I said so, and what I say is the truth. Okay, I am definitely getting, like, a really bad sore throat. Um, and she's just as delightful witness as she was a year ago. <gasps> That's right, you may cross the a witness. Uh, okay, I'll be sure to do that, I suppose. So, who I saw. Um, so, on guard, on guard, yes, now I remember, I'll express that. Would you please get on with your testimony? That's my prayer. She'll probably say, I, uh, you know, I would if you would let me or something. <laughs> Watch your language, young man. What sort of tone would that take with an elder? My youthfulness isn't what it used to be, so you should forgive me for everything. <sighs> that is a bad baby boomer attitude. Um, so if you think if you keep on barking me like that, I'll start singing at the top of my lungs. Please don't. Uh, what? A striking figure by the sea, standing all alone is he, he's the Nickel Samurai! I just made that up. I mean, there's a reason I don't sing. Uh, she's actually singing. Someone help my poor ears. <laughs> you please do something about this racket. Wait, I'll give you a piece of gum later, if you'll be good and seek to just the facts. Dear Lord, he's bribing her with gum. Okay, you promise, right? 
I think, you know, just like a few minutes with old edgy poo would probably be enough. Um, right, I'll be sending the bins for the chewing gum to your office at the end of the day. Uh, you know you won't. I'm not gonna pay it. Uh, remind me you said you would thank you now later too, Edgeworth, little chum. <laughs> uh, oh god, I'm not getting the hiccup too, am I? Well, at least we're almost done with the video. Little Samurai, that's right, it was Little Samurai that I saw. We will... Oh, fuck. We will be a little more capable here with your testimony, please. Oh, God. We got, like, four months ago. I'll, I'll make it. Not too long ago, you said he was wearing his racing jacket, and now he's not? Let me guess, she just remembered wrong. Not too long ago? Let me ask you this. When you were eight, Billy, what, what was your grand dream? Uh, huh? How is that relevant to anything? What did you want to be when you grew up, Whipper Snapper? Uh, my dream, huh? Well, I, uh, wanted to be Judge Wetner, hero of the public court. So what? Uh, God, Phoenix had his career set up for him early. Um, unless it was like a TV show scene. See? And look where you are now! You're not Judge Wagner, are you? Are you? Oh, well. But I said earlier, who puts any weight into things like that? There was everything. I can't be held responsible for the past. It's when the court becomes theatrics over testimonies. Since this game came out, I don't, all the matters is that man was inside the cat costume. Isn't that enough? Yes, it would be convenient for him to wear his costume during the murder. No, it wouldn't have been. Um, and why would that be? That way no one could see his face, of course. Uh, I like it, but I guess. If the blood gets in the costume, then, you know, that still doesn't. Because of my argument, that doesn't tie him to it. Uh, anyway. Uh, but there's still no advantage for him that I can see. At least my hiccup suit would be gone. This is not wood. Um, in fact, you would, you, would th you would think the cops would make him stand out a little more. It does indeed. It's sort of an intention grabber. It's like, da da da! You're such an annoying child, you know that? You disagree with everything I say. It's supposed to be an annoying child, by the way. Isn't that what you're always doing to me? I got it! Maybe it was more troublesome for him to change in and out of his costume! Uh, sure, whatever. You had to go to that post ceremony stage show right after the crime, you know? Was there anyone else scheduled to appear at the post ceremony stage show? Well, well, all contestants were supposed to go on stage in a friendly gesture thing, including the Nickel Samurai. Or the Jammer Ninja, rather. Uh, Nickel Samurai is my client, and that includes the Jammer Ninja? Of course it includes him! That's why when our guard came out of Dear One's room, I didn't give it a second thought. But I guess, you know, they were going to see each other as, you know, sort of a friendly rivalry thing. Uh, it was her theory, I suppose. But that clip, by all accounts, it wasn't really that friendly. Hmm, I see! Well, anyway... The must have won that Nick Samurai Cross when he was standing for the one on. So let me ask you one last time. The person you saw, he really was a Nickel Samurai. A show he's ever! Haven't I been saying that from the very beginning? Uh, can I throw in the towel yet? Hmm. So, yeah, this is the end of the deal. You don't need to think too hard on this one. Huh? There's a contradiction in her testimony, and it's sitting in plain sight. The question is what that contradiction means for us. Uh, well, I have to figure. I have to figure out what you're talking about first, but okay. She can't give me a hint or something. Okay, so... Huh. Let's take a look at the court record. Uh, you had to go to the post conversation or thing after the crime. Um... Hmm... Let me just... Hmm... I'm gonna look through the, uh... Through the, um... The court record. What we got? 
Um, actually, she says he was stabbing one, but he wasn't stabbed to death. He was, you know, strangled to death. That's probably a little minor detail that they're not going to want me to go into, though. Guitar case. Hotel guide map. Magazine clipping. Plus camera, radio transceiver, press conference ticket. Um. Hmm. Samurai. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back in so that it would have been convenient. Say, so I'll present, like, I think three things. Or, yeah, I don't know. I'll try to. I'll, I'll try to do a few presentations and see what I can get. No, music is still going. This statement is clearly faulty, so that ain't it. Uh, would have been convenient. It's samurai. Um, huh. Just out of curiosity. Do we, do we know what time the, uh, what time the, uh, the press conference was supposed to start? I thought Dom Street said it's six. I'm gonna present the ones I've got report just in case. No, it's wrong. Uh, the statement is clearly faulty. Huh. Let me go. Um, let me also let me do the stabbing poor one statement and I'll try that also with the autopsy. No, music is still going. The statement is very faulty. I think I'll present. The, uh, oh, oh, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. I'll present the you have to go to that post ceremony stage show with the button, and then I'm just gonna have to look a walk through. Nope, it's wrong. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the here and go look a walk through because I don't know what to do. Uh, I am Phoenix Ryan, and I'm out.